In this video, we will take a look at how we can use try except to handle errors that might occur when we're running our scripts. So we have a script here that I have prepared. And if we run it, we can see that if we enter a number, we are given a multiplication table. But if we run it again, and we enter something that's not a number, we see that it crashes. And instead of having the script crash, we want to take care of that error that occurs and let the user know what went wrong so that they can run it again and hopefully enter a valid value. So let's take a look at the code for how we can add a try except here. So what will happen here is that we will try to run the instructions inside the try block here. And if something goes wrong, if there is an error, we will end up in the except and print this message, letting the user know what went wrong. And if nothing goes wrong, we will just continue after the try except. So if we try to run it again, hopefully if we enter a number, it works as before. But this time, if we run it and enter a letter instead, the user will get a much more friendly message, um, letting them know what went wrong so they can try it again. And often what we want to do is to let the user try again to enter a new number or a new input if they enter the wrong one. So we will add this code that we have into a loop and let them try until they manage to enter a valid value. And in code that could look something like this. And let's first run it to see how it works. So if we enter a number, we will be given the option to try another number until we select minus one to exit. But if we run it again and we try a number, then we try a letter we see that it didn't crash and we can continue to try to enter a new number. And then when we're finished, we can exit by minus one. And if we take a look at what we did, eh, we added this loop and we added a condition for when to exit the loop. And if that occurs, we said keep going to false. So we will keep going in the loop until we enters minus one. And we still have the try except to catch any attempts from the user to enter something that is not a number. 